Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We want everybody. No, we want our, our, our family convert here. We can all right, no, we We all right, man. You can walk here, you know. We can walk. Ladies, you can walk here. Yeah. Yeah, man. If Tony and Tony walk here. You guys need to come around so we can see you too, you know, and the ladies and so forth. If you don't mind being in the video. Welcome everybody. Well welcome everybody. Mark Constable and um, his team has invited us once again to come back to his um, their project. What's the name of your project, Mark? What what you have a name for it now and Well it's just a goat rearing project. It's a goat, goat rearing, rearing project. Okay. In, this is what, Riversdale is it? Yeah. Riversdale area in Linstead. So um the last time we came here, they just had this goat pen here with no housing or anything. And as you see, they have this a lot of pallets here and they're using pallets to do this construction. I've invited Miss Davis today and she's going to come and have a look at um, goat rearing and the construction as it relates to real estate and so forth. Miss Davis, okay. all of this is built out of waste material. Waste use material. Yeah, use pallets. Use pallet, yes. Okay, so they take the pallet apart Yes. and then use this the boards of the pallet. Correct. To so build the goat house, right. So this is a cheap way of doing it. Okay. So what happens here, Mr. Davis? What kind of board is this? These are um, tree. Usually yeah, they got, um, the tough wood stick. And they get um, the cut and they get the, the round post. Right. You have some right. special tough stick. I don't know any. You know the name of it? Because I, I know this is staying far enough. No, not, not, not you. Mean, what, one this of, yeah, I don't know the name. Barbed wire fence, right? Right, right. Yeah, it has a and, and also in construction, they use it um, when they're holding when up they're holding the, 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 decking. the decking. Yeah, right, 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 right. And you know, you know, I guess you might know they have something that you must reap these posts at a certain time. Moonshine. 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 Oh. Yes, in Jamaica, they say you have to cut these one moonshine. If you don't, chichi eat off the board and it don't last any time. That's a good point to, to also make. Mm -hmm. So, what happens now? A facility like this. How big is this facility? Right here is pretty much about 30 by 30. Yeah. 30 by 30. There yeah, this is a 30 by 30 facility. And um, they're using pallets all the way to build it. And what they do, they use the pallet and make a slatted floor, as you can see. And this allows, we call it slatted floor. Oh, this allows the feces, feces to, and the the urine to drop through. To drop through. You usually make this in a half inch spacing. Which is what they have done here. Oh, okay. So that the young kids don't foot don't fall, don't fall through, through it. it. Right. right. Okay. And um, so with this you can do intensive farming and you can rear a lot of animals on this. How many goats can come in here? A lot. Probably maybe a hundred mark. Probably about a hundred. Maybe about a hundred goats can come on us on a on a on a shed like this. Because on a do, thirty by thirty? One hundred goats? Yes, maybe up to a hundred, yes. <laughs> Because what happens with something like, like for the shelter? The shelter. So right. they don't sleep here. Yeah, yes, they sleep here. Sleep here. They would have access to the entire. But house. them, them walk up and down right. and feed. So when it's water. raining, like no, they, they, they go inside. Bit. Okay. Right. So is this gonna be meshed around? They're so going to use more pallets. pallets. More pallets. More pallets. Half it. Right. And, and fence it around. Okay. Right. So with that, with an intensive farming methodology like this, what happens is that you don't get the parasites and the you know internal parasites you cut down and, and all those things and the rainfall the feet get right foot rot you don't get foot rot and a lot of diseases and things are not oh. transmitted when you use a clean floor like this because you know when you have a lot of goats together and you're intensively rearing them what happens is that you know rainfall parasites you know wetness of the feet goat don't like water at all it creates a lot of problems for the animals so they, they're losing their health condition run down mm -hmm. they they don't eat as much because they don't like rain so they're not going to eat and, and forage and, and you know with the mm -hmm. wet ground and all of that mm -hmm. so you are able to carry the feed into them and keep their condition you know at peak so how you how do you clean under here well what you do they, they, they'll have different ways you can use a rake or a speckle right. scooping thing like and just draw out oh. the feces and oh. clean it most fertilizer. I thought you would have probably put like a tarpaulin or something under there to catch it and you just dry it out. That don't work? You can do things like that. So in the chicken industry, yeah. that's what they the do. Zinc. 
they put things under there and take it out. Right. But most farmers usually build the floor a lot higher than this, that oh. you can almost walk, walk under, under the floor. And we will go and have a look at some of the other farming methods okay. and how they do it. People do things different way. Mm -hmm. But for this, they can just take something and scrape out the manure from underneath it. And, and this is something that you don't have to clean. Maybe once a month you'll clean it. You know? and, and insects eat and the chicken. They have a lot of chicken here. I don't see them today. Chicken also will work. See the, see the rooster? Look at the rooster over there. One of the things in a natural environment, chickens, duck and these kind of animals are great for this kind of thing because they go underneath this and they're going to scratch it. They actually do the work for you. Uh -huh. If you don't mind sharp, they'll scratch everything out from underneath this, this pen. Okay. They go there and they scratch and as the insects and so forth eat the manure, the worms and all of that, the, the chickens will go under here and scratch it out. They will always be maintaining under here, scratch it out, eat out the insects and probably throw the, most of the manure outside. So they, they also clean, clean on the environment. Oh. And also they, they deal with parasites, parasites in a certain and, way and yeah, so forth. Yes. How much how much water you need to real goats like in this environment? A goat a goat drink, I think it's what? About it's two gallons, if I remember correctly. Right. Per day? I mean what you want to do is to ensure that the animal has constant water. Constant Please. water. Constant water. water. Right. Yes. Yeah, so that's, you set up like drums and have up, you can set up automatic water, water feeders yes. and you set it in and it full up the containers the trough, yeah. and make sure they always have clean, clean fresh water. water. Okay. Right. Always. Always. Right. So goats don't need or goats don't like water. They're not like pigs that No, they don't like water. Around. No, right. <laughs> right. They, they hate water. Dry, right? Right. They do very well in the drought time to tell you the truth. They do very well. Parasites don't affect them because you know the sun is our natural sanitizer. It sanitizes the environment and keeps us you know, clean and get rid of bacteria. Ask a very silly question. No, no silly Nobody's questions. You're our first time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do I need to bathe these goats? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> or brush them down with any like. Well, the, like uh, the, the closest horses. thing, the closest thing I think, mm -hmm. would be the external when you're treating for external parasites. Oh. Some people have a a bath. That they will run the animals through uh -huh. but what happens most of the time in jamaica is that we have um the high pro um things that we use to spray and to clean up the, and to clean the, their right, skin to clean just like the dogs like you have ticks you'll right. have external right. parasites that affect them mm -hmm. but i know we bathe the dogs so that's what i was wondering yeah. but you don't have to bathe the dog oh you don't have to bathe the yeah, dog it's the pit thing that goes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 be a dog. Oh, you don't bathe the dog yeah yeah but so the mongrel dog i mean the body have to <laughs> and they are more healthy but than the these, pet dog but them. these goats are thoroughbred goats right no not necessarily i mean this is this is a meat this is going to this is a meat operation and they are also going to be looking at milk. 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 So it's a meat milk operation. This is a production facility for the community. Mm -hmm. Mr. Council, like how many I think when I came here the last time there were about half a dozen ladies who run this operation. Oh, okay. I was you know, like women in agriculture. Mm -hmm. uh, how much people really involved in this community effort and what well, is it that you're really doing? We're seeing we're seeing um, on the last count we're seeing about seventeen persons that are coming together. So, to um, plus that's from directly from this community right but they have neighboring communities that people are coming from okay because you know they are also into goat they hear that we're going to be doing the training today okay. and we've invited them so that they can come and learn as well so okay. at the end of the day we are looking to have over 50 persons involved in in, in this whole thing as a community uh initiative how much land do you think you really need to start your goats to start yeah if somebody if someone is going to start a, an operation mm -hmm. uh, it depends on what your goals are if you are looking towards uh, say a 50 herd mm -hmm. really and truly if you can go and cut feed mm -hmm. you don't necessarily need to own acres of, 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 of land. land you oh, can go and cut, cut and bring, and bring it, it to them, them. That, yeah. however if you are Looking to graze, right? Then that is where now you know you're going to. Need and graze to mean walk up them, walk up and down, go and, and eat themselves. Right. Graze right. and browse. Right. Then let's use the boat words. Because goats are and really goats are browsers. 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 Right. Right. Okay. And cows and sheep are grazers. Yeah. It just simply means one eat up 
you know, eat the goats like to climb the trees and eat the leaves oh, above oh. and the sheep and the cow eat the grass and eat what is no, on the ground. That's so it. that's why you see the goats climb the trees and do all those kind of things. They mm. eat differently. They are a very sophisticated animal, you know. Yeah. They don't like eating dirty <laughs> but, things but, and they but, are clean. They are clean. But tell me something though. If I raise my goats in this kind of an environment, yes. where they are in in-house, so Most, to speak, yes. as opposed to going outside right. and browsing, yes. Will they be at any disadvantage in terms of their body weight and how they produce more offsprings, produce milk and so on? No, it all depends on the farmer mm -hmm. and the knowledge. Management. Yes, the management, the management, the knowledge the farmer has in terms of managing oh, yeah. that sort but of thing. But at some point, I'd have to take them out and allow them to browse, right? No, you can have total expensive. expensive. Or you can, yeah. it's not oh, to feed. Oh, it's I just can just to get like, total, so like, right. they're just staying here they're the whole staying entire here. time. Yeah, you just allow them like out there to get some exercise and sun oh. and, and so forth. And, yes. Right, right. Oh. You see what happens? You hear the roosters? External grazing has its ex has its ex it has advantages, right? But external grazing also has disadvantages. Mm -hmm. um, they get cut, you know. The other get bruises. And they steal them. They steal them outside. <laughs> this is one of the main things. Probably and also the availability of land is a big issue with grazing, with grazing outside. outside. The beauty about intensive farming like this is that when you look along the roadside and you look everywhere in the community, you can just go and cut trees, cut grass. There's so many forages available everywhere that, that you can use. Sometimes maybe your mango tree want to prune or you have an apple tree or so something. So the goats eat any, this is an apple tree, the goat yes. eats any kind of A lot leaves? of, no, not any, but a lot of forages they can eat. There are certain poisonous plants oh, that will hurt them okay. but they are very smart they know the difference the different one. Yes. Okay. so if you put it in there they won't eat it they won't eat it mm -hmm. all right how long does it take though for so i start with maybe two goats are how much is a goat how much you yeah. mean price yeah goat rearing is start well goat you we used to can buy them for five or seven thousand dollars and then it went up to 15. no i think it started where is that mark twenty five thousand dollar Maybe. 30 maybe 40 hundred thousand dollars you can't get it to buy mark where you can't get goat to buy now yeah. easily and if you find it me know yeah yeah because <laughs> I, uh, if people... i want to start a goat business yeah. what do i how do i get these goats to start how do you get yeah them? and how many females are male i need are the average is 35 to 50 maybe even 100 if you have a very sharp ram you know that can a hundred one. So, so it depends on it. Let's. It starts with your budget first. All right. No. Let's budget. just say I want to do this. Mm -hmm. yes. The space here. But of course, I'm not going to put. How much is I can hold a hundred? Yeah. Let's not say a hundred. Yeah. Let's say you start at say fifty or twenty or twenty oh, or yes. ten or ten. Let's just say I start with ten. What's your feet first then? Yes. With ten. With ten. So is that ten female? Yes. Ten females. No male needs you to get, be. In you get. You. You. you you could get one male. One male, nine female. Nine females, yeah, about. Or eleven in total. Mm -hmm. Ten females mm -hmm. and one, one. Um, what goat. is most? Oh, that's why them call them ram goat. Yes. <laughs> what is one most? One male to nine females. No. Yeah, it's what is higher. most it's important? <laughs> what is the most important thing with this goat rearing thing? Yeah. When you are new in it, you start small, spend a year, learn. Cause there's so much to learn. The Small Ruminants so Association. Yes. The Small Ruminants Association of Jamaica. We have been doing training seminars very, very regular. And this is a training seminar here now that they are going to be bringing mm -hmm. along with Hypro. They're going to be training, I think, on nutrition and disease prevention. Disease prevention. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot to learn. And, you know, there is so much different scenarios that you can get into. So there's a learning curve. It's not something you just yeah, put in I, and but, go. But no, man. But how long so if i start with five goats one male four female how long will it take these females to reproduce i want to know how gestation is i can months. get to to 100 goats gestation is five months mm -hmm. so the animal gets pregnant it takes five months um and how many how many what's the what's the, kids yeah how many kids they drop sometimes one Two, two and three, four. Three. Most times, when four and five, no, that's 
Alright, so let's Real. just say I'm bad lucky and I wanna drop one. <laughs> well, I don't so, think all four will drop one. All four will drop one. I don't think so. So you think average maybe two? Maybe two, yeah. Okay. We yeah. actually did a video so recently and, and did some calculations. One, two, ten. Okay. <laughs> we so did I a, ten in five months, or maybe twenty by the end of the year. We did that we did that. The same um, boat. Same right, five starting. Right. right. Poss possible, possible. So the same the, the five goats that produce those kids that year. Yes. Do they produce, produce again. again in the same year? Oh yes. They can. Well, not not say a, a year and a half. A year and a half. Eighteen right. months. Eighteen months So every eighteen two. months I can produce two. Right. Okay. One of the things we did a video the other day and we did an analysis of having it was I think it was twelve goats. When we're doing a comparison, eight. it was eight, eight females, and we did the mathematical calculation and showing under ideal conditions, excellent management and so forth. Mm -hmm. Over at, at year two, at the end of two years, you could probably breed and reach up to at least eighty animals. You know, from, with, 12, from, eight, from eight females, yes, from two years. under two ideal years. condition, assuming that everyone have two kids, right. and assuming that you have excellent management practices. Mm -hmm no sicknesses no anything at all under no ideal condition you could attain all right so, 18 so how, new how many ways can i make money from these goats one is milk it sounds milk, like yes the other one and is all the, the byproducts meat yes what's the byproduct of milk milk you have cheese you have yogurt you have oh but that's assuming i want to do that production right, right you have right. people here that take it on you have people here who are looking into those kind of things okay. i think this project is looking at that also right so it's milk but it's another phase right. okay there's yeah. milk and there's meat meat right and what else how All else right. there is another big big market that is out there and it's the tanning industry where they're taking the goat skin and make slippers and make all these kind of things I was watching a, a, a watching an article the other day, and in Pakistan, mm -hmm. the skin mm -hmm. is more valuable than the meat. And the meat itself. Yes, okay. because that's what they do. They put up because the slippers and all those kind of things, you know, the jewelry and all the different things they make out of goat skin is actually very expensive stuff. Shoes and all the different products they make from it. And there's actually someone in Jamaica who wants to do this. And that's one of the things is that when we have facilities like this, mm -hmm. which we're trying to set up clusters all over the island, we will be able now to retrieve these skin and sell them and probably get good value for it. So what about the selling of the young kid? Or people don't want to sell their kids. Yes, it is there. Oh, you can't okay. even get it to buy. The demand is so high here now. <laughs> but what is it? But how much? So how much you you wholesale the meat for? What's the wholesale? The uh, pricing that I'm seeing here now, live weight, four hundred dollars a pound, mm -hmm. and the carcasses is eight hundred dollars a pound. And there are people who are selling it more. Ram goats is selling for more money also. But on average, what's the difference between the? You said so the meat. The meat is eight hundred dollars a pound. The meat is eight hundred a pound. And the the. The live weight, meaning a live animal, yeah. is four hundred dollar pound. Oh, so I can sell four. I can sell it live, and you go yes, with it, right. or kill it and so sell okay. the meat, right? And right. what's the weight of the average goat when you sell it? It varies according to breed type. You know, it can be 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 pound. You know. Oh, it depends. Depends. And yes. how quickly they take to get to that weight? On average, especially the high breed goats, they will reach like eighty pound maybe at six months. The ordinary goats maybe. 50, 40 pounds. Oh. It matters to your genetics, your feeding, okay. and, and you know, different mm -hmm. things affect them. So management is key. 70-80% of everything you're doing is management of how you manage well, anything it. The facility, yes. Yeah. Okay. The facility. Yes. The facility. That's the difference. It's how you manage the facility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to now take a walk and go down to where the training seminar because we're doing a training seminar today. Okay. And um, training a lot of the farmers in the area will be a part of this training seminar we're going to be doing in nutrition and they're going to be doing also um some diseases and so forth we have vets we have vets and nutritionists mm -hmm. here today that will come and um train the farmers so let's have a look